The Royal Australian Navy was established at the dawn of the 20th century, and it quickly acquired its own traditions and carried them through both world wars with honor. One such tradition was the naming of large warships. The largest ships were named Australia, and six capitals of the Australian Union states gave their names to light cruisers. In the 20th century, the country's record holder both in population and the number of ships that were named after it was Sydney. Two cruisers, an aircraft carrier, and a missile frigate sailed the high seas bearing its name. The honorable second place, both in population and the number of namesake ships, is taken by Melbourne, a cruiser, aircraft carrier, and a missile frigate. When considering the name for a new cruiser designed by our team of digital shipbuilders, we decided to maintain the traditions of the Royal Australian Navy. The project was created based upon existing in-game British cruiser Minotaur, which could have been built in Great Britain for Australia at the end of the 1940s. World of Warships, she was named after the third most populous city of Australia, the capital of the state of Queensland. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Australian Tier 10 cruiser, Brisbane. The project for cruiser Minotaur was planned as an analogue of American Worcester, but utilising British armament and radar systems. Brisbane differs from the British ship by the calibre and number of her anti-aircraft automatic guns, her torpedo armament, and some architectural nuances of her superstructure. However, the gameplay differences of these two ships are vast. Brisbane comes equipped with HE shells and enhanced torpedo armament. She has 10 torpedoes on each side that have good range and tube-by-tube -tube launching capabilities. Thanks to the latter advantage and good concealment, Brisbane, while hidden, can unleash a torpedo attack to protect herself against sudden enemy advances. As for aerial strikes, that's where her effective air defense system comes in handy. To support allied ships when fighting for key areas, the cruiser has surveillance radar and hydroacoustic search. But you should remember that while surveillance radar has a decent ship detection range, its operation time is short. You need to choose your timing carefully to utilize the consumable most effectively. Brisbane has improved propulsion characteristics, which means that she can accelerate quickly. This feature will help you perform maneuvers when changing attack direction or retreating. It's best to fire the main battery guns from behind islands or an allied smoke screen, since Brisbane doesn't have her own smoke generator. The cruiser's main guns have a decent firing rate, but her shells deal little damage. Their flight time is long, and they follow an arcing trajectory, so firing over long ranges can be less effective. And one more thing. Brisbane has weak armor, yes, but if the ship takes serious damage, she can restore a significant part of it using specialized repair teams. Let's talk about upgrades. We recommend enhancing her torpedo armament before everything else. Main armaments modification 1, engine room protection, but special upgrades hydroacoustic search modification 1 or surveillance radar modification 1 are also recommended here, torpedo tubes modification 1, steering gears modification 1, concealment system modification 1, torpedo tubes modification 2. It's time for our traditional Armada raffle. The main prize will go to one of our subscribers who hits the like button under this video and answers the following question correctly. After what Australian city were ships of the Australian Navy named most often? I'll remind you that your comment with the correct answer should also indicate your nickname and the game server that you play on. We'll announce the name of the winner in the next episode of Armada. Good luck, Captains.